Did your solar company install your system months ago and it hasn't been turned on yet? Would you like to know why? Stick around! Another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. And if you're one of these people, this happens way more than it should, where the company comes out, installs the system, has you sign off on all of it, and then it doesn't get turned on for weeks or months. Here's why. A couple of reasons. I'm gonna break it down for you. Chances are I'm gonna go ahead and guess something. I guess I'm guessing, I'm betting you financed the system through one of their solar finance companies, right? You know how I know that? I'm going to break down solar financing for you, give you a little class 101 solar financing. So most of these solar companies, us included, we work with a couple different banks or whatever that, that you know, that, that do solar financing for, for residential homeowners. Makes the process a little easier because not a lot of people have, you know, 20, 40, 60, 80 grand laying around. They can just throw in a solar array. Now, granted, it's a great investment. Even with the interest rate, it still rings true that it makes a great investment for your home, for your long-term energy behavior and savings, plus the environment aspect. Still worth it, even with a finance system, even with paying 4.9 or 5.9 APR. Still makes sense. It's still pencils. Here's where you should know as the homeowner what's going on. So when the system is financed, generally, now I'm not, no two banks are the same, but most of them work and operate off the same metric, and it's this. The solar installer that linked you up with a finance company, chances are they got 10 or 20 or 25, maybe even 30% of the entire contract amount Okay, they get that paid to them. They get that paid to them so they can maybe you know uh, pay a partial commission for the salesperson, buy some of the materials for the for your install, you know the, the rails and the panels and the wiring and all this other stuff, the permits, the engineering. This all costs money, right? Now companies like us, we can afford to pull all this and do all this and pay for all the materials up front without even getting this. Uh, this is that we're in the minority when I say that. Very few companies are in a cash position where they can do that. Most of them need every bit of that to get the job or keep it going, okay? Here's where it gets tricky. The next payment disbursement doesn't usually come, so the last, whether it be 90%, 80%, 75%, or 70%, whatever it is, that last payment doesn't come until the system's installed and running. So here's where to look out for something. So when all the panels on the roof and the installers are running around taking pictures and taking pictures of the inverter or the communication box or down by your electric panel, right? And then they ask you to sign a completion certificate. This is basically them going to take all those pictures and you signing off as the customer for the completion cert, they're going to send it into the finance company. The solar company now is paid. Within about a day or two of you signing that piece of paper, whether it's be uh, DocuSign or eDocSign or whatever, okay? Within about a day or two of you signing that, the solar company has now been 100% funded from your solar array. Less any finance fees that they have for the installer. But the general consensus is they've been paid all of their monies. Now, those of you that have a system that gets paid, for, it gets put on and don't get put on, it doesn't go on, excuse me, for weeks or months or maybe even a better part of a year, because that's happened. They're no longer in a hurry for you to get turned on. They got their money. This is stuff I want you guys to know. You as potential home, you know, you as, as homeowners, potential solar customers, be prepared. Companies are out here doing this, running around doing this for one or two reasons. A, they need the money, or B, they're trying to get you in for an incentive that hasn't come out yet, they're going to sign up for a lot of incentives come out in the spring. So if you're one of these companies around this time of the year, it's December, I think it's uh, 
It's a couple. It's the twentieth today, so it's a couple days before Christmas. Right. So, if you're one of these guys that gets, you know, yeah, we can put you in December, January, and it sits up there, and then February comes, and March comes, and maybe April comes, and you're still not on, and they're giving you some, oh, the power company, it's bullshit. It's not the power company. If it's a residential system, it's not going to take three or four months anymore. It used to, yes, those days are gone. Most states now have a state guideline, a state law that it has to be turned on in so many days or what have you, so many business days or whatever. Most of them aren't going to let you go more than a month tops. Now, it's not all, but most, right? So if you're one of these folks that the system's been on your roof for three or four months and it's still not on, you're wondering why? Bingo. Call your company and find out and tell them, hey, look, did you guys get paid for the system already? Make sure you're recording that conversation. Because there's a saying in business. The saying is, if you don't lie, you don't have to remember anything you said to anybody. Because you're going to repeat the truth. Think about it. Thanks for watching another episode of Uncensored Solar TV. Brought to you by all of us here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thank you.